What this study is about is that babies with congenital heart disease that need surgery um, in the first year of their life are at risk for learning disabilities later in life. So mesenchymal stromal cells, or MSCs, are a type of cell that we know have anti-inflammatory properties. They release different factors that reduce inflammation in places like the brain and also in the lung. The mesenchymal stromal cells that we use um, have been used in other children, um, other children who have congenital heart disease, but never in this way. So they've never been infused in the heart-lung machine, and we've never studied whether they will improve um, uh, neurodevelopment uh, after heart surgery. But we know that these stromal cells, mesenchymal stromal cells is the official scientific name, can stimulate the body's own stem cells to produce more of the cells that make gray matter and white matter. These stromal cells also can reverse some of the effects of inflammation of the brain that are caused by the heart and lung machine. During the surgery, the stem cells or stromal cells will be infused into the baby's brain using the heart and lung machine. The cells are introduced uh, into the heart and lung machine. They travel through the artery, the main artery of the body, the aorta, into the arteries supplying the brain. Those are the first main arteries that come off the aorta, so a lot of the cells go to the brain. And Many of them uh, will be going to areas uh, like the subventricular zone that generates the brain's own stem cells. Uh, and they'll also be going to areas of the brain that are affected by the inflammation that can result from being connected to the heart and lung machine. So Children's National is unique uh, in that we have these uh, novel cell therapy programs and the GMP manufacturing capabilities to generate multiple different cell types from MSCs to different types of T-cell therapies and other cell therapies for uh, not only patients uh, with uh, immune-mediated disorders or inflammatory uh, disorders but also uh, for children with cancer. This is a phase one safety trial and it will also help us to understand the optimal dose. So the next step that this trial would lead to would probably be a multi-institutional study where the, the stromal cell therapy would be uh, looked at by multiple centers undertaking congenital heart surgery. If the Phase three um, efficacy trial is positive and, and there's a good outcome, then it will allow physicians looking after kids with congenital heart problems to offer families a treatment. Uh, it, it's also going to help our understanding of brain development uh, for kids with other sorts of brain development issues. Uh, for example, preemies. And many kids with premature uh, birth end up with the same sorts of white matter issues as kids with congenital heart problems. So there's a, a, a strong probability, I think, that this treatment could in some way be beneficial to the preemie population as well. So with our clinical expertise, um, the neurodevelopmental program that we have, uh, and the amazing history that Dr. Jonas brings um, to our hospital. I can't think of a better place for this to be done.